So we raised her. Um, Whitney does all the breeding end of everything for us, and um, so we got a lot of pride in this one. Um, she's by our stallion, Tango's Parting Kiss. She's out of a nutcracker mare. So yeah, we've brought her along from the very, very, very beginning, and uh, we call her Abby at home. She's got a great personality. She's been... Uh, ever since she was young, we really thought she was special, and she's just come right along the way we hope so. And, and today was, you know, just icing on the cake. What uh, is the biggest challenge in, in training her? Is there any any particular tricks to her? Or? There's absolutely no tricks. She's one of the most straightforward horses, you know, that we've ever had, especially for a two-year-old. And you know, most two-year-olds are they're just green and they're looking for direction all the time. But she's mentally really really mature and, and just handled everything so good up here did you have any um particular goals or anything going into that class or any expectations well i think your i think your goal is to always try to win it you know but uh your expectations on a two-year-old uh, you, you prep them and you you've got a, a feeling of what they're like all week and uh, i'm not going to show them if i don't feel like they're ready to to handle it and sometimes when you get in there you discover that that maybe they weren't ready but um, you know, we knew she was nice, and then when you don't know how nice until you get in there with everybody else's horses, and then you can really see what you got. So um, we were we were thrilled. Has she been shown before this? I, I don't. Uh, think we seen showed her. her in hand as a yearling at Raleigh North Carolina State Championship um, last year, I guess it was. Yeah, um, that's the only time she's been shown. Yeah. What does Abby like to ride? Can you describe that? Oh, man, she's uh, she's really confident for a two-year-old, you know, and just um, some two-year-olds get in there and they, they may cower down or get too scared to show, and she just immediately was like, this is my place. And even at the end, when I retired to the end and stopped her, she turned around and she looked down there like, I hope they're going to call my name out so I can go down there, you know. She just got a really show horse attitude. So what is it like to breed a horse like that? I mean, this you've had multiple winners from this stud now. Yeah, so that's that's the that's the real special thing. Uh, when you when you raise one, and we own the stud and we own the mare, and Whitney does all the uh, the, the breeding work to get them here, and then you bring it along, and then I put it in training and I work it, and so it's just it's a real real special thing when you get one that you raise and bring along and get the have an opportunity to come up here and win with it is, is, you know, you just don't get those opportunities very often. Do you know off the top of your head how many um, world championships uh, horses by... By Rangers? Tango Party yeah. You know, I really don't. I don't I don't keep account of it, but um, he's, he's had at least three this week. Um, High Fling, um, Rango Tango, now this two-year-old we just showed we've got another two-year-old this afternoon in harness that we're very excited about um and um i think i, I don't know of anything else right now this particular week you know but um he's been so good to us what is next for this filly? this filly well she's uh she's now for sale and we've got quite a bit of interest in her so i would be surprised if she goes home with us but if she does we'll probably take her right on to the the North Carolina State Championship and show her in the Carolina Futurity. Is there anything else you wanted to say that I didn't ask you that you think people should know? Um, you know, just the the um, Tango's Parting Kiss is is a great outcross for the Nutcracker mares and the Blue Northern mares and such. We've had really, really good luck. Uh, um, we've had extreme success with the first night out mares to him. So, you know, the way he's bred, he crosses up with a lot of different uh, and um, He's uh, he's really been consistent with us. We've had a really top two-year-old every year up here for probably the past five years. Um, we're just so proud of him and, and proud to have him, and and um, we'll we'll see what happens next year.